Hey guys, TTS Twino Communications here. Welcome back to the Logo Hall. Last time on the Logo Hall, we reviewed War Star Television, which got a 6 out of 10 rating. And I also learned that it was actually from 1966. Hmm. Now we have another request. It's from Coffee Flavored Milk. Coffee Flavored Milk wants me to review uh, Harmony Gold. It also had a request for LA Hero, which I recently, uh, which I recently dubbed on Logo Dubs, uh, coincidentally. But, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys all know my opinion on the logo. Like, it's basically everyone else's opinion. But anyway, let's take a look at Harmony Gold. Feature presentation. Oh, just, just, like the animation is just cheesy. Like that gold text appearing. Uh, that's 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 just cheesy. The logo was cheesy, and that is some, that is some great writing animation. <laughs> ah, seriously. How much effort did they put in? How much? Seriously, it's almost like they put almost none. Seriously. I mean, seriously, if you distribute anime, which I'm pretty sure they did. Hold on. I'm just going to Google. Harmony Gold USA is... It... Is a, an American film and television production company. Uh, yep, they distributed anime and the music. Uh, this is sort of like the case with Screen Gems, which I haven't, which surprisingly I haven't reviewed. I might have to get on that, and I also need to get working, like to get started on the Antenna Two Revisited episode. This is also the first episode to be broadcasted on DBN. Just wanted to, just wanted you guys to know that. Seriously, what, what I'm talking about Screen Gems is the, the beginning part sounds like strings and the end part sounds like brass when it was just Moog. To me, this sounded like a harp and brass, but guess what? It's just a synth, probably not Moog, but just, I don't know. It might be Moog, I don't know. The strange thing is, Screen Gems was actually composed by Eric Sade, the same person, uh, the, like the same person that composed the NET IDENT music. Seriously, look it up. Anyway, let's get back on track. What, what rating am I gonna give this logo? You guys already know. Three out of ten. Like, I, I should have gave them a You Tried Star. Because this logo is just bad. It's bad in every way. Bad in every single critique level. And you know I review it by animation, effort, music. It's bad in every way. Seriously. I don't think it's as bad as Fabio or Cinematographe because they were original. But just, this is just no. It's no. Well, that was that was some ranting, right? Well, I guess that concludes this episode of the Logo Hall. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and good night, Logo community.